When we think of pets, we easily think of dogs, cats, perhaps smaller animals like fish, birds, and cute reptiles like turtles and lizards. These friends are good at keeping us company, cheering us up when we feel down, and making us feel responsible as we take care of their needs. For some people, the idea of having a pet goes beyond our regular standards. They have adopted animals that we usually would only see at a zoo or in the wild. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most extraordinary pet animals that people actually keep at home. This list will make you realize that almost any animal can be domesticated and become your pet, as long as you do your research and you learn how to properly take care of them. The animal at the top of our list is one that I would definitely never consider having at home, but it seems like it's working out for the people who adopted him. Number 10. Madagascar Hissing Cockroaches Most of us, and perhaps all of us, are familiar with having cockroaches at home, but never as pets. In fact, most people find them disgusting and immediately look for ways to get rid of them. How would you feel if I told you that some people have cockroaches as pets, however? And not just any cockroaches, but the Madagascar Hissing Cockroaches. Yeah, let me repeat that, hissing. That's right, these small insect pets have proven to be great company for some people. And one of the things that makes them different from other cockroaches is their hissing, which comes from their breathing. The reason why they're considered good pets is because they are very easy to care for. They're not a threat to humans and they don't reproduce in alarming numbers like the regular cockroaches do. They're not a pest and best of all, they don't have wings. These hissing cockroaches can be very fun to watch and you don't need to spend lots of money to take care of them. I suppose it couldn't hurt to try having one as a pet every now and then. Number 9. Skunks. Who on earth would want to have a skunk at home? These animals are so stinky, and the regular human being is likely to want to stay away from them. But have you thought about what would happen if they didn't release that stinky aroma? They'd be these black and white furry balls following you around in the perfect cuddle buddies. For that reason, some people have decided to remove their scent glands when they're babies so they can bring them home and have them as pets. You must be aware that these animals are very sensitive and very smart, but they also require a lot of care. For that reason, many countries in the world have put some law restrictions for people who want to take one home. If you want to take a skunk home, you better be ready and eager to do some extra work. They're rare pets, but they are worth having. Number 8. Red Foxes. It only takes a few Google searches and some hashtag pet fox searches on Instagram to learn about people around the world who keep foxes as pets. Despite all the controversy and multiple sources calling out people to not adopt such creatures, foxes have proven to be funny, cute, and friendly pets. They are also some of the most expensive pets out there. The reason for this is because domesticated foxes come all the way from Siberia, which is also the place where a geneticist started experimenting back in 1959 in order to breed some home-friendly foxes. Half a century later, we are able to bring these foxes to our home. As long as we have $8,000. And all the necessary permits from our government. It's not easy or cheap to get a pet fox, but it's not impossible. Number 7. Hedgehogs. If you like video games, you probably heard about this next animal when you played Sonic the Hedgehog, the popular action-adventure video game. But what probably hasn't crossed your mind yet is that it might be possible for you to have a real hedgehog at home. If you're up for the challenge, at least. The thing is, it doesn't matter how cute, a hedgehog usually keeps us humans at a decent distance as we don't want to be poked by its needles. But some people have given hedgehogs a chance to become their pet and they've come to realize they can be quite friendly companions. Some of their odd habits include rubbing themselves against odd smells and being active at nighttime. Hedgehogs are also good alternatives to people who are allergic to cats and dogs. Would you make some space for one of these little ones in your room? Number 6. Kinkajous. Although the name sounds exotic as well as Pokemon-like, Kinkajous have already become pets to some extravagant people. In fact, you may have seen some celebrities like Paris Hilton hanging out with their Kinkajou. These nocturnal wild animals like to climb trees and hang from them with their tails. They love to eat fruits and honey, which explains why some people call them honey bears. They're originally from Central and South America, and they can only produce one offspring per year. Threats to the environment and their slow reproduction have made it difficult for them to survive in the wild. It seems like adopting them and bringing them home with us is a good way to protect them, actually. But they are not meant for everyone. Their owners need to be patient as kinkajous can be quite messy and very noisy. Number 5. Wallabies. What would it be like to have a kangaroo as a pet? Well, it might sound foreign for you, but it's actually quite cruel. However, there are other animals in the same family as kangaroos that have proven to be great housemates, and I'm of course talking about wallabies. 
A few years ago, a group of Dutch scientists got together to make a list of other possible pets as alternatives to the ones we are used to. Their research led them to find out that wallabies can easily adapt to a domestic environment. Wallabies don't make much noise and can easily adapt to different weather conditions. They're herbivores at heart, so they can easily be fed with grass. However, you must keep in mind that wallabies need a lot of space as they like to hop around and have freedom. Some experts say that you need to have a space as big as half of a football field for them to live comfortably. Also, some breeders won't let you adopt just one wallaby as they consider having them isolated from their peers is quite cruel. So if you want to adopt a wallaby, better consider having two. Or more. Maybe a lot more. Number 4. Wolves. If we can have dogs at home, why can't we have wolves? You just gotta wander through the forest for a bit and come across one of these animals to find out. Although they are related to dogs, wolves are wild, aggressive animals. However, this hasn't kept people from domesticating them and having them as pets at their homes. But in comparison to dogs, wolves need more space and more food than that dog you have at home. Wolves can eat up to 5 pounds of meat on a daily basis along with skin, bones, and fur. And once they start eating, you better stay away from their food. They do not like to share it and they start showing strange behaviors if they don't have contact with other wolves. There are some wolves that have been trained to help people in their everyday tasks, and they can follow instructions. Although they prefer hand gestures over voice commands, and they easily get tired of routine. The wolf is perhaps one of the most difficult animals to keep at home, but some people are up for the challenge of raising them. Number 3. Serval Cats If you're a cat person, this one might grab your attention and make you want to own one. But beware, the serval cats are not like any of those cats you have at home or even like those stray cats that visit your backyard every now and then. Serval cats are wild, exotic animals at heart, even if you do manage to bring one of them home. Having these cats as pets actually dates back to earlier times in history, when people would give them as luxurious gifts or trade objects in ancient Egypt. You can even find the depictions in some ancient art. Having a serval cat is still quite a luxury, as their care entails having the proper space for them to play and be free. You pretty much need to build a little zoo for them to run, hunt, and even do some climbing. Some serval cat owners have shared stories of how their feline friend escaped due to not having the proper facility for them. They then found them days later. Imagine the stress this must have caused. They won't eat the same packaged food as your home cat does, but instead they'll want a variety of meats like it's done in the wild. It seems like you can take the serval cats out of the wild, but you can't take the wild out of them. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today I have this picture of a man and a hyena. It seems like the man has managed to obtain the animal, but the hyena doesn't seem too happy about that. If this is all the effort it would take to domesticate a beast like that, I'd rather let them alone, living in the wild. After all, some animals just can't be domesticated. But there is a man who has managed to play and pet some hyenas. His name is Kevin Richardson, and it seems like the hyenas really treat him as if he's part of their family. It took him more than 15 years to get to that point, but they didn't make it to this list as they're not necessarily living with Kevin in the same house, but instead he goes out into the wild to play with them. However, my top picks for the day are very wild and they do live with their humans. Number 2. Crocodiles Some people adopt lizards, some others do bearded dragons, and some choose a bit more exotic options such as the chameleon. But there are also a few people who took to raising reptiles to the next level and decided to adopt crocodiles. Yes indeedy, crocodiles can indeed be pets. One of the most famous examples is of a man of Costa Rica who rescued a dying crocodile at a river. This man who's best known as Cheeto took Pocho the crocodile to his home and raised him as a pet. Cheeto tried to bring Pocho back to the wild, but Pocho decided to stay with his new friend. They would even go for swims together and Pocho would always reply every time Cheeto called his name. Pocho died of natural causes, but Cheeto learned through this experience that a crocodile can be tamed. In fact, he's actually training a second crocodile whom he calls Pocho 2. This will show whether his bond with the original Pocho was once in a lifetime or the bond with more crocodiles can actually exist. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Big Cats Lions, tigers, and other wild big cats are not the kind of cat you'd expect to see in someone's backyard. Although there are a few laws and regulations that keep people from trading them internationally as pets, it is quite possible in some places to get these animals from a local breeder. But just because it's possible to get one, it doesn't mean you should. Having a lion or a tiger at home is a very demanding task. 
They're gonna have a hard time understanding boundaries and will probably pee wherever they feel like it. You get in their way, you might experience some unwanted aggression. Regardless of these challenges, some people have given it a try and made a space in their homes for their loved big cats. And some have more than just one, actually. The crazy cat lady in your neighborhood doesn't compare to a man in Florida with six tigers, two lions, and a leopard. But some owners have also become victims of their pets as they attack in the least expected moment. I guess that's what happens when you bring wild animals home. What do you think of these pets? Would you ever consider adopting one of these animals? I'm sure you have some thoughts about the people who have adopted the ones in this video, so let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I hope you all have a good day and I will see you all next time. Later everybody.